What's up, Baller Nation? Happy Easter. Today I'm going to brunch with my family and friends. Should be good. I know one thing's for sure, we're gonna eat really good. And then after that, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be getting into, but I hope you guys are liking these little vlogs. I'm not sure how much basketball stuff's gonna be in this one today, so I'm kinda worried actually about releasing it. We'll see if I ever do, but uh, I hope you guys are liking the vlogs. If you do, let me know, share them uh, with somebody, because if they help me grow, my channel, then I'll continue with them and do the best I can with them and hopefully improve at them. But you know, if they don't really help, if they're kind of killing my channel, then I got to do away with them and go right back to the basketball tutorials. But of course, the basketball tutorials are coming and I got big plans for this summer. So I want to start kind of practicing my vlogs now because there's going to be some pretty cool, I think, basketball content that I'm going to be able to release this summer with the camps and all kinds of stuff like that. So. Anyways, I'm just kind of getting it going now. If these vlogs, they help, I'll do more. Of course, basketball tutorials coming more than just once a week from now on. It's coming twice a week. Um, we might jump it up to three times a week. I'm just trying to help you guys uh, improve your game and entertain you at the same time. So anyways, I'm off to brunch. If you want to watch what happens for the rest of the day, then go ahead and continue watching. And it's going to be hopefully an epic little Easter. Broken and crumbled signs. Hiding all my roads to you uh -oh. And if I fight Will I come to life? Calling for all your life Giving all my heart to you uh -oh. And then they Chinese chicken salad. Is it good? Yeah. It's on. And Jocelyn, Jocelyn, this. Jocelyn was supposed to work on her. We're talking about ancestry right now, and I think I'm Polish, Irish, and Slovakian. What else? Danish. But mostly, I'm Polish and Irish. And, well? Slovakian. Slovakian. Okay. Jocelyn? You are mostly Mexican. <laughs> Gotta be all. I don't know. I yeah. It would be interesting to do it when I have a kid, maybe. <laughs> so the place that we're at and got brunch at is called the Paso Inn. So in Paso Robles, California, this is wine country, man. And uh, basically, it's just beautiful place. Take a look at it. Bunch of koi fish and just cool flowers. So this is, I guess, is part of the experience of coming and getting brunch or whatever. And these fish are hungry. Look at that. They're fighting for food down there. Okay, Jocelyn keeps saying, get me, get me. It's not a picture, it's a video. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> parents over there letting us hang for a oh, little right. bit. Look how comfy that thing looks. Oh, Tay, let's go lay on that. What's she talking about, that thing? Yeah, we can have your baby shower here. Wait, did Chante just say that we can have our baby shower here? Let's keep in mind that no one's pregnant and my reaction is pretty priceless. Check it out. Yeah, well that's a good one. In the spring, where it's beautiful weather. It's a little ambitious, but... And I've been falling out of love And I've been calling out of love In the middle. Chili pie in the middle. Yep, gotta practice. Oh, oh no, thumbnail. Shoes ruined. Yeah. Oh man, Shoe dang rigged. it. Ruined our shoes. Dang it. Oh. Okay, great brunch right there. Back at our apartment now, and I'm just trying to think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. You know, probably hop online, edit some video and stuff, but here's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour. So I'm gonna be reading this book. 180 Shooter and 180 Shooter by Brian McCormick. 180 is when you can shoot 90% from the free throw line and this is in games for the season. Uh, like Steve Nash was a 180 shooter. 50% uh, from the floor and 40% from the three point line. If you add all that up it's 180. So that's a good shooter right there. 90 from the free throw, 50 from the floor so that's just field goal percentage, 50% 
and 40% from three. If you can do that in the games, then you are a 180 shooter and you are considered a good shooter. That's really good shooting right there. And it looks like later we're gonna go for a hike. It's Sunday, obviously, as Easter's on Sunday. And we're gonna go for a hike on the Jim Jones Trail. It's here in Atascadero, in my hometown, so not too far of a drive. We're gonna go with a few friends, but since this vlog is kind of ending up because it's Easter without any kind of basketball spin to it or basketball content, I wanna talk a little bit about my basketball shoe collection. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of shoes. I'm not big into shoes or fashion or anything. I don't have every single pair of Jordans or anything like that, but I do like to buy comfortable basketball shoes because I play a lot of basketball and I want to have comfortable shoes when I play. So basically you're going to see all my shoes that are just totally like tore down and been hooped in a hundred times. Uh, I'm probably about uh, due for another pair of fresh ones of some, some brand, but let's go ahead and take a look right now. Adam, so I'll let you know as well what each of them are. Um, so here's the first pair. These are the Dame Lillard 2s. And these are the shoes that I take to gyms that I know are kind of old, uh, you know, run down gyms with dirty floors that don't ha that aren't prestige. Uh, I take these and I, you know, I'll either hoop in them or work kids up. Here are some Under Armour shoes. I'm not sure exactly what these are called, um, but yeah, these are these are ones that I train kids in and train players in, but I don't hoop in them because they're so low top. And to be honest, they're not the most comfortable shoe. I do recommend these. Dame Lillers, the number twos, and please don't quote me on all the names of these shoes because I don't really know the names. I'm not really a shoe guy, but I just love basketball, so I need a comfy pair. These are the KD Elites, I think, and I like these a lot. I hoop in these. These are like my, my hoop shoes right now. Here's the, the Kyrie Twos. Okay, so these are my outdoor shoes now. So what I do is I like to... Uh, wear my shoes, hooping them, hoop, 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 and then eventually when the shoes kind of gets old and wore out or whatever, and I'm kind of I'm like done hooping indoors with them, then I transfer them to being my outdoor shoes. So these are currently my outdoor shoes along with another pair. Here's another pair of Kyrie 2s. I really like the Kyrie 2s. I think they're one of the better shoes um, recent of the recent years. They're super high performing, so meaning like they have good traction, um, you know, you don't feel like your foot's sliding around or anything in the shoe, good lockdown. And uh, really, when it comes to basketball shoes, the two things I'm looking for is lockdown, or actually, I guess three things: lockdown, uh, traction. I like I need traction in my shoes, and comfort. But I wouldn't say these are the most comfortable shoes, but they are high performing, like I said. Next shoe, these are the Adidas Crazy Light Ghost Pepper Edition, and these are super comfortable. Uh, probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I own. I think it's because of this white stuff. It's called the Adidas Boost, that's called Boost. Um, but they're low top and the lockdown's not great in them. But like I said, I, do, I would recommend these definitely for comfort, for hooping if you like to hoop in low tops. Here's the same thing, these are like the 4th of July colors. I can't remember the name of the special edition ones these are, but these are also the Crazy Lights. And finally, another pair that is currently my hoop shoe too, is these, uh, these new Kyries. So I hoop a lot in these. And these are basically the same kind of review as as the older Kyrie's, these two, is because, yeah, they're high performing. I mean, look at the bottom. I like the, the pattern and what they got going on here and how it comes up the sides here, uh, the traction. And um, good lockdown. If you tie them tight, your foot's not going to slip at all. But, like I said, your foot, like after a couple weeks of using those, your foot almost feels like it's on the ground already as far as like the comfort and the cushion goes. But, yeah, these are like the shoes I have in rotation right now. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, we're starting this hike right now. We are one, two, three, four, five deep, and a dog. This is called the Jim Jones Trail. Jim Jones? Or, no, Jim Green. Jim Green. And obviously, I have a problem with the name. But remember, kids, it's never acceptable to be a bully, just like these two girls were to me.
Who knows what a stink bug is? My whole rule with bugs is, if they're outside and they're doing their thing out there, they're good. I'm not going to hurt them. If they're in the house and they're up in the corner or they're underneath something, I'm not going to, I'm not touching them. That's their business. But as soon as they start crawling on my bed or showing up anywhere else, my food, it's on. They're dead. I'm killing them. They're throwing them outside at least. But I'm not worried about no bugs. I usually try to catch them in a, a cup and then put them outside. Catch them in a cup? Okay. It's pretty hard because one of them literally launched at me. And I was so freaking scared. It was like this small. <laughs> but either way, I just... Spiders? I'm like an arachnophobic. Never look up trypophobia though. I'm not trip... I don't care about trypophobia. It's just holes. What's scarier? Snakes or spiders? Oh, um... I've touched like a whole bunch of snakes, so I would have to say spiders. Uh -huh. A lot of snakes. Driving to the bar with my high beam, putting on my visine. Let me tell you just what I seen. Okay, so I guess there's still some water going through here. It rained like, I don't know, four days ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, one week ago. And so there's some water in the riverbed. I don't know, I guess this is the end, or we're going to take a different route after this. You look like a real, looks like a chicken's egg. Right, what's the normal? We don't cross this, do we? No, I ain't no. going to do that. We can walk, we can walk up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna walk up. Oh, I can see. Show that. There we go. We're going right through there. I'm sure. Hiding all my roads to you. And if I fight, will I come to life? Calling for all your life. Man, it's crazy, huh, Luke? How we can barely even keep up with the girls. I know. It is too damn fast. I could tell they'd be good on Naked and Afraid. <laughs> naked and Afraid coming soon to Baller Boot Camp. I'm at a crazy little point here in this river and uh, I want to let you take a look at this hillside right here. Look at these trees. Look how these trees are kind of tilted sideways. Like this riverbed used to go up there and a bunch got eroded and you can see how it kind of crashed down here. All these trees crashed down. There's a fence actually hanging. You probably can't see it, but there's a fence over there hanging just in the air because the whole hillside fell down. At this point of the walk, we we're starting to get tired. Right.